Okay, now I will introduce you how to use this uh, this fixtures to to let the bubble test perform normally. So basically, we added uh, two pipes before uh, for the gas inlet. You can see this is the gas inlet to the instrument. So now we are divided into two pipes. One is normal pipe with only one stopper. It's used for burst test. At another pipe will be using this flow rate control device. And this will be a very precise flow rate control device. It's 200 milliliter per minute, the maximum. And then when, uh, this will be the pressure output and pressure uh, uh, the gas pipe going back to the sensor. So basically, uh, if we want to do perform, uh, perform burst test, we will switch off this one and switch on this one. And then the flow rate will be big, so it can perform the burst test normally. If we want to perform bubble test, we will let the flow rate to be smaller, so we will close this one, open this one, so the flux will be smaller. Uh, because now I don't have the fixture of your water tank or something, so I use this basin for the water tank, to simulate the water tank. And uh, now I will perform one test to, to see how is the, how is the, uh, how is things going. And I go to preset, and uh, because right now I don't have test mode U, which you have the test mode U, right now I have creep test, or creep to filler test, I can use to, to simulate something like that. Okay, I choose this test mode and I open the test. And according to the standard, when we place the specimen into the water for 25 seconds, or I think you are more familiar with it, we can inject the, inject the gas inside. So now, the pressure is increasing. So you will, you will need to adjust the flow rate for one time. And after one time, it is OK. We don't need another time at adjusting. Here, I didn't seal well for the specimen. OK. Stop. 